One thing I've learned over the past year or so is that kids and babies love toys and people love giving toys to kids. But then you wind up with a bunch of them and no place to put them. So today I'm gonna to build something a little more substantial than this basket, a rolling toy cart for my friend Lindsay and her son Holden. For this project we're going to need four pieces of plywood cut to size, two six foot one by fours, a tape measure, a jigsaw, a circular saw, a speed square, sander and sandpaper, a drill driver, a pocket hole jig set, a clamp, wood screws, wood glue, paint, a paintbrush, and four casters. So what I was thinking for the cart was that we would basically just have two sides mm -hmm. and then two shelves in the middle. Okay. And then we'll put wheels on it. Just because. Just because. <laughs> it Sounds can roll. Good. It can roll places. <laughs> so our first step is to cut the little curves, which is why we have our paint can out. Okay. Quart size paint cans can make perfect rounded corners. It's as easy as lining up the edges, then tracing the can. With patience and a steady hand, cutting out a line with a jigsaw is really not as intimidating as it looks. Now the sidewalls are ready. By the way, we got these sheets of plywood from the home center where they cut them to size for us. We also had our plywood shelves cut to size. This eliminates the need for a table saw back at the shop. Next up, we measure the one by fours, which will serve as the walls of the shelf. And help if my pencil had lead in it. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> it fell out. Okay, backup pencil. Here's a tip for you. Always have a backup pencil on hand. The shelves are pre-cut to 36 inches in length, so we're also measuring and cutting these one by four shelf edges the same. It'll be a pretty sizable cart, but then again, Lindsay's son does have a lot of toys. Ha-ha! Easy peasy, I like it. Now that everything's been cut, we're sanding all the wood surfaces smooth before assembling it all together. So Lindsay, this is my new toy. Okay. It's a pocket hole jig. So what it does is, it's gonna give us a place to put a hidden screw. So this is gonna hide our fasteners and just make it look more polished and finished. Okay. And use this cutest little clamp ever. <laughs> Using a pocket hole jig is really pretty simple. After clamping the jig to the wood surface at the recommended placement, you just drill out the hole. And then move on to the next one. Now you can kind of see what I'm talking about. The screw goes in there and attaches to our side piece. Mm -hmm. Kind of hides the screw head, especially from the front. There's no holes in the front. Gotcha. I like it. All right, so we just have a few hundred more to drill. <laughs> just kidding. A kit like this comes with this jig as well as a drill bit with a stop collar, which is important because it allows you to get the perfect depth hole every time without drilling through the other side of the wood. So after drilling all the holes, the bottom of the shelf should look something like this. Okay, the first thing we want to do is put our two shelves together before we attach the side pieces. So I'll hold it in place. If you want to drill it, here's your drill. Okay. And I'll go ahead and put a little wood glue at our joint. We're starting off the assembly by attaching a one by four to either side of the long end of the shelf. Line up both pieces flush and attach with screws through each pocket hole. It's never a good idea to screw or nail into the end grain of the wood. That's another reason we're using the pocket hole jig. To add a little more overall strength to the cart, we're also adding wood glue on each joint. Nice. Looks like your first grade teacher taught you well. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Powell. <laughs> so what kind of toys is Holden into nowadays? I don't even know about boy toys. Um, he's all about Legos and dinosaurs and pirates. He loves dressing up. What about the Ninja Turtles? Is that still a thing? It depends on the day. Sometimes he loves Ninja <laughs> Turtles and sometimes he's like, ew, I hate Ninja Turtles. That's why you can't like go all out and get a whole bunch of the same toys because the next day yeah. they'll be like, I don't like this yeah, anymore. That's true. Now we're ready to attach the shelves to the side pieces, starting with the top shelf first, which we're placing at 21 and a half inches from the bottom. Oh, 
Lindsay, it kind of looks like an oversized doll bed right now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> really long, skinny dolls. Hopefully Holden doesn't think it's a bunk bed for himself. <laughs> but it can be a bunk bed for uh, all of his little action figures. Aww. Iron Man here, Captain America. <laughs> Next, we install the lower shelf flush with the bottom of the two side pieces. Hey, Lindsay, I think these shelves can hold a lot of toys. So now we can just put our casters on the bottom four corners. Okay. And then Holden can roll it around the house. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> We're setting the casters half an inch from each corner and screwing them into place. Okay, you only have 13 more to go. Oh, sorry, 14 more. <laughs> now you're doing 13. Do you want to count every time I, you put one in? No? Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Maybe I'll get the next ones ready for you. <laughs> All right, you want to grab that end and we'll turn her up on our new little feet. Nice. Whee! This looks dangerous. Perfect for a little boy. <laughs> for a rambunctious, crazy boy. <laughs> All right, let's spread our drop cloth. I decided to use milk paint for this project. It's environmentally friendly and low odor, which is important to me as an expectant DIYer. The trick is to paint underneath it without getting it in your hair. We're covering this cart with two coats of paint. Since it's going in a little boy's room, I think it can use all the protection we can give it. Well, I think we have it about covered. What do you think? Yep, almost done. Just a few little places to touch up. All right, well, we'll let it dry and then you can take it home to Holden. Do you think he'll be excited to put his stuff on it? Yeah, I think he'll be super excited. Okay, I don't know about you, but this time, I don't know, I got paint <laughs> all over me, so I need to go hose off in the yard before I can yeah, go Yeah, we look a little, we look a little messy. All right, let's go get that taken care of. All right. This cart is a big hit for Holden. And now that I think about it, let me put it back. Maybe we should have added some brakes. <laughs> I've got so many projects to share with you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.